Hi, I'm Aaron with 1492 Coachworks, and today we're inside one of our fully fabricated, complete shells, getting ready to go over and to get paint and body in the interior. And I wanted to take a minute to talk about our construction method. I firmly believe that our construction process and methods of the fully fabricated, all aluminum shell are superior to anything else available. And my recommendation to you is they're all expensive. Everybody's coaches are expensive and it's a lot of money that you're gonna spend, some more so than others. But there are tangible differences and I wanna show you what we do and I strongly encourage you to investigate what everybody else does before you uh, 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 spend money on it. The thing is, there's tons of videos out there on the finished, completed interiors, and there's beautiful coaches everywhere. But I think the core chassis are, to me, why we started down this road of building our own was because I just think, thought there was a lot of room for improvement. So let me explain to you what we do and some of the unique things that I think are in our process. Our uh, framing starts with a three by five, this is a three inch wide, five inch tall, half inch wall thickness. So the aluminum is a half inch wall all the way around. That three by five is sitting on a vibration dampener and the entire thing is U-bolted with steel U-bolts around the actual vehicle chassis itself. That gives us what I feel is the best foundation out there to work from. On top of the three by five uh, tubing, we weld in a four inch, a three inch I-beam. These are the I-beams going this way. This is 3 16 and quarter inch wall construction. That's the heaviest I-beam in 20 years of, uh, of metal fabrication and building interiors that I've seen. Certainly in anybody's product, it's, it's uh, kind of semi-truck grade stuff. It's got a lot of meat, which gives us a lot of penetration in the weld. We can make sure that the thing's gonna hold together. The entire coach, as you can see here, the entire bottom side is all belly line, fully aluminum belly line. Uh, it's 080 aluminum. In this trough here, which is what all our mechanical wiring, everything runs in, we have access panels throughout the coach. All the underbelly bays have access panels in the ceiling. So in the event that there is an issue or an option needs added or somebody wants to change the configuration down the road, we can get literally to everywhere we need to get under the coach. That nobody else is doing that I've seen and I think it's a huge difference. The reality is you may have a problem at some point in the future and we wanna make everything as serviceable as possible. On top of the I-beam construction, we move to our walls. The walls sit directly on the I-beam. Our typical wall construction basically is two different extrusions, structural tubing, all minimum of eight inch wall, one, two, five wall. This is an inch and a half by two and a half. And this is an inch and a half by five, three sixteenths wall. And this is what's called a double hollow. It's got this additional uh, uh, section in the middle that gives it tremendous strength. The strength of this is as, as much side to size as it is this way. And that additional tubing in there gives us a lot of rigidity. Again, when you've got 20, 22 foot slide outs pushing with 5,000 PSI of force and it's all pushing against this. It's not something you want to go light on. You will tear your unit up going down the road. All that stuff makes a huge difference to us. In addition to that tubing at all the key points around the slide outs and everything like that, um, we use quarter inch plating to basically gusset and tie all those corners in. Again, it, pre it prevents any kind of sag in the slide outs when you get, this is only about a 16 foot slide out. We do all the way up to 22 foot slide outs. When you get in those big slide outs, you do have to be concerned and aware of the sag. And this ties those corners in and also keeps everything nice and straight. Again, I don't know of anybody that's doing that in the motor coach industry period. So it's quarter inch plate. Uh, on the inside around the uh, corners, quarter inch plate for all our plating and gusseting to add strength and rigidity. Your slide out bracket goes onto this, and again, this is welded on top of that on the inside. Um, it's incredibly strong, not built like anybody that I've seen. And then the outside skin is 080 aluminum. Uh, this 080. We, adhesive, we use an adhesive, uh, aircraft grade adhesive to uh, glue it onto the outside. It's smooth skin, we butt our joints, seam fill them. A big thing with, uh, easy way to tell, kind of a generic way to tell, 
Uh, exterior metal thickness is, we have to paint every one of our coaches, uh, full body paint, single collar, whatever it is, we have to paint every one because we can, you can't get this thickness of metal in a pre-finished material like a white. So if you go see white on the side of the coach and you see screws or rivets on that seam and those screws and rivets aren't painted, it's not a way to thickness or larger, it's something less than that, just a really key generic way. But 080 thickness on the metal, you can see it's nice and stout, it's good, makes a great flat surface, looks really good. And then on top of the walls, um, we've designed and engineered our um, aluminum truss. It's two, two and a half inch channels. We can kind of modify this just as we need to for ducting and all that kind of stuff. It's actually incredibly lightweight for as strong as it is. We put them on 16 inch centers. Again, eighth inch wall tubing. It's welded here and here to the wall. It's completely tied in, not going anywhere. Uh, when you walk on the, this roof, it feels almost as strong as you're walking on the floor in this truck. It's a really, really strong, lightweight way of doing it. The um, cavities in this, all these different cavities, that's where we're running. Electrical wires, 12 volt, 120, all that stuff keeps everything separated. It's a great way to pull wires, keep everything good and secure and safe in the coach. And then around the per whole perimeter, and it is, it is cosmetic for sure, but it's also structure is the corner radius. This is proprietary to us. When you see radius corners, all that, I've seen them in PVC, ABS, I've seen them in aluminum screwed on, some are glued on. We basically, and this is just the mock-up, tack welded, but this all gets fully welded on this. This is eighth inch wall aluminum. Again, the walls come in here, the trusses come in here, everything's tied together. And then the really cool part is on this corner cap, we actually uh, form a piece of metal fully welded in, metal worked, and, and, and body finished all the way out. So it's, everything is welded. The entire seams are welded. All of this coach is fully welded everywhere. Every seam is welded. There's no mechanical fasteners visible in any way. It makes for a really strong, really smooth, good looking finish.